Yeah. Hi, good evening. Yeah. I'm Anubha Shrivastav and I'm the owner and founder of my own label called A by Anubha. So I would like to just brief you a bit about myself. I graduated from Symbiosis Institute of Design in Pune, India. And uh, my degree project, which was based on the same concept as A by Anubha, was awarded as the most marketable collection during the graduation project, uh, graduation fashion show. I've had diverse work experience, uh, including both in US and India. I interned at Don Carey International for, uh, for two months in New York, and I worked as an assistant designer at Ritu Berry Designs, which is a known uh, fashion designer in India. Uh, Eva Anuba is just one year and four months old. I started back in India uh, with a clothing <coughs> exhibition in October 2012. Then uh, I've had various clients in US as well as in India, but now I've been selling uh, personalized clothing, customized clothing. And I worked with an LA-based company called Gotham City Films, supplied clothes to them for two months. Then I participated in the San Francisco Fashion Week under the emerging designers. And I've had other shows and events along with the Stylematic app. These are the recent events that I've done. Coming to the design philosophy and the concept behind Eva Anuba, it's inspired from the pre-independence era of India. And uh, Khadi was one of, Khadi being an organic cotton, Khadi is the Indian term for it. So that was my inspiration. Uh, it's a hand-spun and hand-woven organic cotton. So uh, as you can see uh, in the picture, Mahatma Gandhi used to spin it on the spinner, uh, on that wheel. And uh, it's the symbol of self-reliance because back in the pre-independence era, India started revolting against the British goods, and that's what they used to get employment and to, that was their revolt against the British uh, clothing. So they started making their own fabric. It's a very versatile fabric because it gives you uh, warmth during the winters and it keeps you cool during the summer. That's the quality I really like about it. Uh, so the inspiration comes from the Nehru jacket, as you know, Jawaharlal Nehru was the first Prime Minister of India, and I really like the silhouettes and the cuts that were used uh, back then. As you can see, it, it had a close neck collar, often referred to as bandgala. So that's what my whole inspiration is about. And uh, I have picked up small little details like the pocket flaps mm -hmm. and the fabric buttons, and incorporated into a uh, corporate clothing line. So implement, implementing the same inspiration into a clothing line was basically deriving a corporate wear uh, clothing out of it. And for the women of today, as they refer to, the bold, confident women, and who, who's, the people who require, uh, sorry, the people who have, uh, they have the philosophy of dress to impress, that's the kind of uh, women I'm targeting. Okay. So yeah. this is the final result. Two so, oh, okay. Yeah. Two so this is the final result that uh, you get out of it. It's uh, the Nehru jacket. There's a female version of it. So this was a collection showcase in the San Francisco Fashion Week, the autumn winter 2013 line. These are a few more shots. I've made some variations with the style, trying to make it more feminine, and adding the same details. So uh, that's the same thing again. And th these are much more uh, on the softer line. Uh, so there, there's a lot of hand embroidery used in the details as a cuff and the collars. There's a few more images from that. Uh, so my company is basically divided into three divisions. There are two uh, offices back in India. I have a sampling unit there. And uh, there's a factory production also, which I work in partnership with. Uh, and there's a U.S. office, which is obvious, uh, which is managed by me. Uh, the company is registered as Anuba Designs LLC, a California-based company, and I'm the sole manager and owner of it. Uh, so I, I try to promote it more here. The marketing and the sales point is managed by me, and this is uh, this I manage through the events and fashion shows over here. Uh, the sampling unit back in India has three employees: uh, a pattern maker, a manager and a seamster. So all the sourcing is ba done back there, and they develop a pattern for each and every style. And productions of all the sample is done back there, and uh, this unit uh, basically produced made-to-order garments, the customized clothing. The factory in New Delhi is basically on order basis. This is, I'm coming up with a new collection this summer, which is in uh, partnership with them. 
that's from the, the name of Maxim Export India. So we have it. Yeah. Ten seconds. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So that has this, these many employees and uh, the future plans. Uh, what I want to do uh, within the next year is divide uh, my clothing line into three divisions. One would be known as Anuba, which will have the higher end range fabrics, the high design designer wear, uh, ranging from three hundred to seven hundred dollars, and the production and sampling will be done back in India. So this is the same uh, ornamental line which will fall under this category. And then the B, uh, the second label would be A by Anuba, which will be a bit more economical and uh, which will have selling through boutiques and online selling through my own page. Uh, the current collection, spring, summer 14, is uh, falling under this category. We have a few of the images because it's still under construction. And then the third will be, again, the basics and ready to wear, same, known as A by Anuba, which will be a cheaper line ranging from 40 to $150 which will sell separates, which can be coordinated with the previous garments. So okay. these are the separates. And if I reach the final goal, this is the eventual goal. <laughs> I'll come up with a store. <laughs> so right. yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So then we have five minutes Q&A. Sure. Yeah. This is wool, this is a recent sample. This is also hand spun cardigan. I'm still working on such designs because it's a little difficult to handle. I get the swatches from back in India and I travel also at times, so I pick whatever is available in, the, in, these, uh, in these fabrics. Okay. Yeah. But the color choices, right. you, the more about the artistic choice yeah. of How the you colors, choose? what inspired uh, these color choices? Uh, it's basically the season. I, depending on the season, I just have a color store. Your color store? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's like different styles. This is like a halter thing that can go on over the These are all hand embroidery. Mm -hmm. Straight hand and make it. And this line is the Ava Anuba or this is the This Anuba? is Ava Anuba for now, but I want to just, that was the future plan. I just want to categorize it into a higher end. Mm -hmm. so, because then these will be expensive com uh, comparing to the rest of them. What about the care of Kadi? Uh, what sort of wash uh, do you have? It's mostly right now, I don't, uh, because it bleeds a bit, there's mm -hmm. a lot of color bleeding in it, so that's what I'm trying to figure out a better way to sell it. But mm -hmm. right now, I recommend uh, dry cream. Now, yeah, for production in, in so India, what's the yeah. timing? <laughs> oh, sorry. What's the minimum runs? Uh, for which line? For any of your products, what's the minimum runs? Uh, there's no minimum for now. Mm -hmm. But uh, like the separate range, the Ava Anuba with the separate and uh, cheaper clothing line, mm -hmm. uh, that would, uh, I'm still planning to expand it, so it's still in the process. But uh, the factory that I'm talking about is uh, like a close relative, so there's no need for, for okay. And how does the um, shipping cost add to your overall cost of your product? When we're looking at cost of goods uh, sold? For now, I've just gotten samples, mm -hmm. and uh, for mostly it's friends <coughs> still now. And mm -hmm. uh, that's the future plan that I was talking about. I want to reach out more to the general market, but I'll still have to figure it out with the agents. There are some importing agents, and they have certain charges. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that will be added to the post. Where did the inspiration of this silhouette come from? It's not the same. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, totally it's, it's a little different because I wanted to uh, make the range wider. Uh -huh. so but is this also based uh, off of just, traditional Indian? No, 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 it's just trying to keep it a little co uh, corporate and shape. Mm -hmm. And are all the pockets both pockets? Or yes, or yeah, most of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, and no, is these that are not false. No, they're not the false. With the coat. The, the uh, top ones. Top ones. Mm -hmm. So these are like the separates that I'm talking about, the single ones. Mm -hmm. So they can be themed with the uh, higher range gum. So. But still, uh, th this is made in Khadi, as uh, ma'am said, that it's difficult to manage. So I'm going to come out with a cheaper fabric, which is probably a polyester, and it's easy to handle. Mm -hmm. 
So what's difficult about it when you say it's hard? Uh, it bleeds. There's a bit of color bleeding, <coughs> and uh, it's really soft uh, it then to drain very easily because it's hand spun and hand It's delicate. So, yeah, it's wrinkled. quite delicate. What, yeah, happens it's, what happens if it's dry clean? Sorry? What happens if it's dry clean only? Uh, but like if, with the shirts, I can't just sell a shirt for like 50 bucks and then anybody would not want to spend that much on dry cleaning. But, uh, well, that's what I'm losing track on. You're, you're right. kind of talking two things. Uh, yeah. It's like, no, I was talking about the, the separates. Yeah, Just but, the but, separates. But, but why are you going into this diffusion so soon? Mm -hmm. Why are you diffusing because yourself? Because if I sell, if like this shirt, even if uh, I include the shipping, it will, uh, the retail would be like $50. But, um, well, it could be more. But it could be, exa good. exactly. It could be exactly. more. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, you know, you talk about Dolce Gabbana. Mm -hmm. They didn't do D and G till many years later. Right. Yes. Calvin Klein didn't do C K till right. and D and K Y. You were yeah. Diane right. Karen didn't do till right. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Right. So what, why are you already that. tearing uh, your heart because, out? Because uh, I'm going to make some money out of it. Yeah, but but but, but those yeah. people made it out of the top. Right. And they didn't have the factories behind them at the beginning that you've got. Right. And the knowledge that you're telling us. Right. Yeah, yeah, I guess. You can't, you can't go into the second you've got whole, immediately. You've got a whole start thing up. going. Yeah, yeah because I've, I've not been selling this as much, so probably... But you, yeah, because it's not completely ready yet. <laughs> because you're kind of doing yeah. that. See, so, uh, what you're saying that I should make this also, the shirt, in the same quality and be selling at the same, like a higher price? Personally, yes. Oh, yeah. Because I think, you know, if you could go complete... That's what you have to think about. If it's you're a looking different at a hand-woven fabric, uh, yeah. people pay for that. I Especially mean, that's now. Quality. More and more now. Exactly. Yeah. You know, they want something like that. And it's I'm like, oh my goodness, it's hand-woven. And, and the charm of it and the yeah. whole storyline behind mm -hmm. it. And you just put that label dry clean on it. Yeah. yeah, because no okay. <laughs> yeah, you really I have to market the fabric. You know, you need to develop hang tags oh, and really yeah. talk about the process. It's, 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 it's quite special. You know, you've really got your hand on something quite oh. special. Okay. Any final questions? I, I'm just wondering if you see your market mostly in the U.S. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, but I think when you're talking about who the target market mm -hmm. person is, I think it's you know the woman. It's important to understand their you know like global perspective, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's a woman who's a world traveler. Mm -hmm. right. 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 right, right. That's really key. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.